season on Saturday. Just uh, take us through that play. Uh, yeah, um, I think they're, they're running a little RPO slants behind me. So they're, you know, trying to, um, you know, read off the safety off the backer, trying to bring us down in the box and, you know, throw, create some space, throw a slant in. Um, you know, I don't think a quarterback ever saw me. I just kind of slid underneath it and, uh, and, and grabbed it. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it was a good, fun play. Um, you know, it's fun, you know, always fun to make an interception in a game like that. And um, so, you're you're kind of the elder statesman of the of the entire secondary this year, um, but you've you've got so much young talent, especially corner, um, and you know um, all the in interceptions you've had, and I, I guess it's like six in the last three games. Uh, do, you, do you feel like the the secondary's confidence is at an all time high right now? Yeah, I think we're we're playing really confident. You know, just as a as a back seven, as a defense in general, we're creating a lot of the disruption up front. So give a lot of credit to those guys. You know putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, giving us opportunities to um, get in good position and make plays. And then um, guys have been finding the ball well, you know, getting their heads back, making plays on the ball, um, you know, especially at corner, um, you know, it's done a great job of, you know, making those competitive plays this year. Nolan, this is uh, Pete Yacovelli with the AP. It seems like every year Clemson loses so many terrific defenders and we wonder how you guys are ever going to get back to it. And it seems like every year you quickly get back to it. How, how difficult it is, to, is it to make those transitions? And what's, is there a secret that maybe the rest of college football doesn't know? <laughs> well, first of all, it's a, that's a huge credit to um, coach Venables and, you know, what he does, um, you know, the guys we bring in and then just the commitment of the players, you know, developing and, um, you know, just, just waiting for their turn to, um, you know, to make something happen. So, you know, it's a developmental game. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of guys that are super talented that, you know, like um, just say Balin Spector, you know, I mean, nobody really knew Balin. And then this year you come out and they're like, where did this kid come from? And he's just been grinding and developing over these last couple of years. And he's always been a great player. And now he's just showing everyone that. And he comes out, just makes huge plays every week. Um, such a physical linebacker and great tackler. And, um, you know, so, and every year, you know, we have those guys leave and then same thing. We have these young, um, talented dudes that are just learning and developing in our system, uh, come up and, um, and do the same thing. So it's just kind of how this program's run, you know, off of consistency and, um, and hard work. Hey, Nolan, this is Grace Rayner with The Athletic. Um, this might sound a little silly, but can you explain to me the, the dance that the defense does after turnovers? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't even really know how to explain it. It started the summer um, during our skills and drills stuff. You know, we always have fun. And whenever a defensive guy would make a play on one of our offensive guys, um, he would kind of, you know, start pointing at him and doing that over his head, you know, just kind of messing around with, you know, within the team and that kind of started over the summer and and then kind of worked its way into fall camp a little bit. And obviously you can't do that uh, in a game. I don't I think they, you know, throw a flag on you and not very sportsmanlike of us. But so it just kind of started, you know, becoming a thing at practice and uh, over the summer. And it was just kind of something funny that the guys would do and, you know, just kind of turned into uh, their little thing. What does Venables no. think of the dance? <laughs> uh, I don't know. He, he probably doesn't, doesn't really think a whole lot of it as long as, you know, we don't get flagged for it. Um, but I think, I think he thinks it's funny. Um, you know, he just likes the energy that, you know, the guys are bringing, you know, the excitement of, you know, making a play and celebrating together. Nolan, this is Larry Williams at TigerIllustrated.com. What are your observations on uh, Trenton Simpson from what you've seen? Not necessarily what he is now, but what do you think he's capable of becoming sort of long-term? I mean, you've seen some of the, um, some of the plays he's made, just he's so explosive. Um, he reminds me a lot of, you know, Isaiah almost, um, you know, just kind of like body type when you just see that guy and you're just like, he's just physically all there. He's got, you know, the capabilities just to become um, an unbelievable player. And, um, and he, and he's already, you know, showing that he's just super explosive. Um, he's fast. He just looks like a, a, 
dominant physical specimen uh, is the best way to put it. And he um, he's going to be a great player. Um, you know, he's already, you know, making plays out there and showing his explosiveness. And, um, you know, in a couple of years, he's going to be one of those guys that's um, talked about by everybody in the country. Maybe like an ideal combination of a inside the box physicality, but also the speed to to chase stuff down on the outside. Oh, yeah, for sure. He moves really well. Um, super physical player, great blitzer. Um, and, you know, so he's, he's got what it takes. And, um, and so, yeah, I'd say that's, a, that's fair. Nolan, it's Trevor again. Um, Xavier Thomas was able to, to, to get in there for, for a good number. Of, I guess it was about 20 plays on Saturday. Um, yeah. how, how much more can he add to this defense? And have you seen – um, a, a real difference in, in hunger from him um, ever since, uh, I guess, the, the NCAA extended the, uh, the eligibility and, and it was determined he was going to be able to get out there early. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's been great having X out there. You know, it's just another um, elite guy, you know, to put out on the field and just have another playmaker. And, um, you know, and he's shown that over the last couple of years. And, yeah, I've definitely seen him, um, you know, just grinding and working to get back and, you know, get to where he needs to be to, um, or where he wants to be as a player. Um, so it's been, it's been cool to see him working and, um, you know, getting back to his himself. And, um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's great having him out there. He just brings um, just another, another element to the defense of pass rusher and, you know, physicality up front and speed. And um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always good to have a guy like X back out there. Nolan, this is Matt with the state. When when you guys would, uh, I guess, point to the offense during the summer and doing some of that kind of stuff with the dance, did it ever get intense or, or guys ever get mad on the other side of the ball? No, nah, it's all fun, you know, with the team. You know, we got such a great uh, chemistry within this team. And, um, you know, and it's it's cool to see and um, just a lot of great relationships. So it's all fun. We're out there competing against one another. You know, it gets it gets intense sometimes, um, but never, you know, in that in that situation, we're, you know, always just having fun with it. Um, so, you know, they'll, they do, the offense will do stuff back, um, you know, in the summer too, and they'll have some fun. And, um, but that was just kind of our defensive thing that we would do whenever somebody would make a play over the summer. Nolan, is Trevor again. Uh, mo most people know that, that you're from Alabama. Your dad played for Alabama. Um, it's it's looking like you guys in Alabama are on another collision course to play each other in the in the postseason. Um, do you ever think about that and uh, hope that you get another opportunity for that, or, or do you not even allow yourself to think that far ahead? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we just you know, folk, I'm always focused on one week at a time and I'm focused on Syracuse this week and. Um, and, you know, yeah, I got to watch them play and we got home this weekend, watch Alabama, Georgia play, you know, two great teams, fun game to watch. And, um, you know, I'm sure they'll have you know plenty of success for the rest of the season. And, um, you know, ultimately, if, you know, we get to where we want to go, I'm sure, you know, that matchup can happen again. So, um, you know, it, it's just, uh, you know, another great opportunity that we'd have to um, to make it that far and, you know, play another great team and a, a fun matchup. So, um yeah, it'd be cool, you know, from being from Birmingham. Um, it's always cool to play the, the hometown team. So, um, but yeah, just, just focus on this week and Syracuse. And, you know, that's how we got to be uh, for the rest of the season. If we want to get to where, uh, if we want to get to that opportunity um, in the postseason. So, yeah.